Welcome back. Today it's time for some good old plain Java. How to create collections with Java easily. That means lists, sets and maps. Let's check it out. All right, so to start off, the simplest way to create a new list up until Java 8 was with the arrays as list method. And you simply put your list items in here, so something like hello world. And I'm just going to call the list something like list till Java 8, right? And you get your list. Let's print it out to the console as well. You get a small immutable list. Now, with Java 9, there was a new method, a couple of new methods, collection methods introduced. One of them is the list of method. Has the same effect. You also get an immutable list. You just put your list items in here, just like hello world, right? You get your list since Java 9, something like that. Print it out to the console. And now let's run our program, see what happens and we get our two lists back, Java 8, Java 9. Now on to sets, because with sets it's a bit different. Up until Java 8, you had you basically had one method, which was the uh, singleton, collections.singleton method, which returns you a set with just one item, which is not what we want here because we want at least two items inside. Now obviously you can create your new hash set, and then later on, just add or just put a couple of, put your strings inside. But if you want to do it quicker, you could also say arrays as lists. And uh, again, actually, let's take some other words. Me, me, me. We're a bit focused on ourselves. So you have your set um, till Java 8. You print that out to the console as well. And let's now rerun our program. We get our singleton set, me, because obviously it's a set of the list, and you cannot add the same string three times to the set. Okay, so with Java 9, that also changed a bit. There's a new method called set of. Now what you can do is you can copy the me 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 inside here. And um, I'm just gonna call it set since. Java 9, print that out to the console as well. And now let's see what happens when we run our program. You actually get an exception saying illegal argument exception, duplicate element, me. And that is something to take note of that with the set of constructor, you cannot put duplicate elements in here as with the new hash set arrays as list method, basically. You'll get an exception if you do that. So I'll comment that out and I'll step to the third collection to maps. Again, what you could do up until Java 8, you simply say new hash map and uh, you have your map here and then just ma map, you put um, your key and your value. Hello world. And actually that is a uh, string string something like that right again there isn't a much better way of creating a new list until java 8 so i'm just going to rename that map till java 8 there is for people who want to try something out i just want to mention it once there's a double curly braces pattern check it out yourself what it does how you can create maps with it and why it is maybe not a good idea but with Java 9 again, there's now map of, you might have guessed it, map of, and you can put in your key values. So you just say hello, and then world here. And as you can see, that is key number one, value number one. If you now continue writing here, like something like blah, that will be key number two, and value number two, as you can see here, key two, value number two. Now, this map here as well, map since Java 9. Let's print it out. And then let's see what happens. And again, you get a map back saying 
blah equals blah and hello equals world. And that's pretty much for the uh, most important collections, lists, sets, maps, how you construct them up until Java 8 and from Java 9 onwards. I hope you enjoyed that. See you for the next trick.